today, we're diving into the old faithful. What am I talking about? Freeze frame transitions. Let's get straight to it. Future Los here. I just want to interrupt for a quick second. I just want to say I appreciate you guys and thank you. 2,600 subscribers, almost to 3,000. We're on the road to 5K, and that's because of you guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you check out the website, RidiculousVisuals.com, and snatch that ultimate preset pack. It's still on sale for $5 right now. And while you're on that website, make sure you go down and check out the merch. This shirt is fire, man. I'm telling you. If you're a director and you go on set and you feel like you get lost in the, in the crowd, having this shirt or having these jackets, these hoodies, will help you stand out. Let everybody know that you're the director. With that being said, let's get back to the video, man. So I took the time out to go ahead and, and already cut him out. So if I open up this nested sequence, you can see it's just him. I created a mask around him. Um, so to do this, you need to create the mask. That's number one. I want to go from this clip into this clip. So what I did was I duplicated this clip by holding Alt, drag up that duplicates that clip. I right clicked on that duplication while I'm on this first frame, right, right click on it and do add frame hold. So that will freeze that at the first frame. So what I did with that is I figured out how long I wanted my transition to last. And I stretched it out and then I created a cutout of him. So that's the basics of this whole video is freezing the frame you want, masking him out, and then I got these presets for you. You just throw the presets on either your cutout or on your background, and you can mix and match them. So let's do that now. You have the freeze frame of just him, and then you have the freeze frame of just the background, right? Once you download the presets and install it, you'll see this right here, freeze frame transition pack. And basically it tells you, you got background, 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 cutout. So the cutout, you wanna put on the clip of whatever you cut out. And it tells you, if you're going out of a clip, use out. If you're transition, transitioning into that clip, use one that says in. And I'll show you the difference. So we're gonna use the in, right? Let's do, we want them to slide up from the bottom and come up. So we're gonna do, let's drag that on here. And then we just drag a random. And this is what you got. So this is a transition and into the next clip. Let's find one where we transition it out. So this one we're transitioning out. So what I did is I took this bottom, took this first clip drag it up by holding alt was I was on the last frame I did the frame hold on here right click add frame hold that way it's just a still shot and then so for this one we're transitioning out of this first this clip into the second clip so we're gonna go transition out so let's say Cut out, curves out, and then background. I'm gonna grab another out. Now let's see how that looks. All right, I'm gonna just go through these and add some, uh, add them randomly throughout these, and we'll come back and show you guys what's going on. This is what you get. Like I said, they're labeled in and out and they're labeled background and cutout. So you put the cutout 
on whatever you're cutting out you put the one that's labeled background on the background self-explanatory um, if you're transitioning out of the clip you use the out if you're transitioning into a clip you use the in if you want it faster just make your uh, transition a little smaller and that will make your transition go faster if you want it longer you want it more drug out stretch it out a little bit it'll fit to the size of your uh, transition with that being said that's it man i'm out